Hi guys, I haven't made a video in a while. So today's video is about how to deal with your parents. Um, you know, like how to deal with, with parents who have a hard time with your name change. So first of all, your parents have named you um, your name ever since at birth. So they called you that name for like... Um, for at least like you know from the time you're born like at least a new since you were born basically so up till about um 20 plus years so it's gonna be hard it's gonna be weird for them and be patient with them don't be too hard on your parents to be honest i was very hard on my mom i was very hard on my dad and I, w I expected them to to just get used to it immediately and um you know it was hard like it was hard for me too and and I'm still learning I'm still learning patience like I don't I don't know anything so you know we we are we're always learning and, and, and you know and and that includes myself you know our brain just 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 doesn't stop learning we don't stop learning until we die basically so, to be honest, uh, my dad was, like, totally against me changing my name, but I did it anyway. Um, he was, like, really mad, and I don't blame him. I do not blame my dad for, for being mad. Like, he feels betrayed, and he probably felt betrayed, and because I, you know, he, he gave me my name, at, my name at birth, so, yeah. And... He even told me that, that he wasn't going to call me, that, that that name was going to call me, he was not going to call me by my, my new name, so, and I avoided him for months, I didn't speak to him, and, you know, a lot of times I, I would block him, I would block him, and, you know, my mom, my mom was like a little more chill, but she slipped up and called me by my birth name, and I just corrected her, you know, and it, but I, I did it consistently, but now she calls me by my new name, so... My, both my parents are cool with it, and now that my um, now that my friend my mom and dad's friends come over, they call me by my old name. My dad corrects them, like politely corrects them, and said, "No, this this is Thomas now, not not that name anymore." So, I'm really proud for my dad for 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 doing that. I'm just I'm really proud of him. Um, it just shows it just shows that he's really that, that he's really um he's cool with 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 me, you know, going by my new name. So yeah, so. I'm assuming you guys are, are are 18 or older, but if you're in, if you're under 18, this is not the video for you. So I'm t um this is um this is for people who are over 18 who can legally change their names without their parents' permission. Um, just so you guys um know, if you haven't seen my my name change video uh, from 2016, I encourage you to check it out. So while going through the name change process, um, I really recommend that you change your name um, first um, before you put your preferred name on your school ID so that, that way there's no confusion so it's okay to go by your preferred name but um, but if you put your preferred name on your school ID and and your driver's license says your birth name that's that's gonna confuse the heck out of out of people and they're gonna say what? And it's gonna confuse, um, like, um, you know, like when when you go to when when um when you go to the bank, for example, and and you and you pull out your driver's license and your school ID, and and your school ID says your preferred name, your driver's license says your birth name. It's gonna be confusing. So, um, yeah, like I know that McEwen does have a preferred name um uh space now, so students can put their preferred um, name on their school ID. Um. But this is to only be be used um, at, at um at school. So just so you know. So yeah. This is only to be used, like you know, for um when when for, like when you're when you're talking to professors and they're like, oh, my preferred name is, um, is Sarah, and I don't want to be called John. So this is just an example. Um. Yeah. 
But if you want your preferred name to to um to appear on your high school diploma, your passport, your healthcare card, your birth certificate, etc., you gotta gotta get your name changed so the the legal system uh, recognizes you as your new name. And if you if you don't have enough money for a name change, I recommend that you get a part time job or um, if you have a if you get a le- weekly allowance from your parents every month um, or every week I should say, um, just save that. Just put that in a jar until you have enough. It's it's um yeah. So don't take my word for it, how much it costs. So to be honest, it, I paid one hundred twenty dollars for the for the application fee. The the fingerprints were eighty five bucks. In total, it was about two hundred. So. It took about six weeks for my name change to be processed, but but it can take longer than than six weeks. So so talk to the talk to your state or talk to your talk to your province about about how your how to change your name. It's because you know, like I'm not I'm not an expert of um on on uh, on legal stuff. I you know, yeah. So. Yeah, it's um and yeah, so once your name changes um is updated, you you may get a court order um a uh change of name or a change of name certificate. So in this case, I got a change of name certificate. Um so it's got my name before before the legal name change and then my name after the legal name change and I got a new birth certificate and um I basically had to update my my um, government issued ID, my like my my Alberta ID card, my healthcare card, and I asked, and I had to apply for a new passport, um, so I could get my name changed on 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 it. So, yeah. So I couldn't just renew my old passport. I had to get a new. I had to apply for the adult um, uh, passport again, and now I have it. It's it's all done now, and the stress is gone, and yeah. And yeah, again, again, my parents are pretty cool with with my new name, so they're used to calling me Thomas now. So yeah, but those of you guys who have parents who are totally against um, calling you by your new name, just 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 um, just give them time to adjust. That's that, that's all that's all you can do. Um, and I, I know it sounds easier said than done, but I I know it's hard, but it's important that that we try. To give to, to not be hard on our parents, and that included me. I had to try to be patient. It wasn't easy. Nothing's easy in life. And all I can say is I, I wish you the best on uh, your transition. And I hope this helps. Peace. Over on, low battery. Close button.